Well, what's up again there guys, Brian here at 3TR and I have another awesome topics video to share with you guys today. Now with E3 being less than two weeks away, this is the time of the year where us as gamers get really excited to see what the next year or so of gaming has in store for us. Now with the set of conferences that we have coming this year, there's only really three on my list I'm excited to watch. And that is coming from EA, Bethesda's, and obviously Sony's press conferences. The other ones I'm not really pumped up to watch because I don't really follow them that much. But I decided to do just a quick list of the top five topics that I'm expecting or hoping to see them talk about at E3 this year. So starting off really easy with number five on my list, I have just more information on the next PlayStation 4 Neo or some people are calling it like PlayStation 4.5. Now I'm gonna say this, I currently own three PlayStation 4 so I have no intention on buying this new PlayStation 4, which is supposedly going to be slightly more powerful and can run a lot smoother and all these other things. My best guess is this is just a new kind of upgrade system that's going to be able to operate the new virtual reality technology which comes out later this year, which I also have no intention on buying. But I just really want to see what its functions are and exactly what we can expect to see from this new or slightly updated version of the PlayStation 4, which, you know, I don't... I don't think it's going to be vastly superior, but I'm just really curious to see what its functions are and how it's going to operate with this new virtual reality technology. So I just want more information on that. Going on into number four with the first set of games that I want to know is I want to find a release date for The Last Guardian. Now this game has been in production, Was I think it was announced back in, I believe 2009, I believe, I may be wrong. but. I want a release date, and I hope the release date comes out later this year. Now, we got a confirmation last year that they were still working on this game, and hopefully this year we can get a release date. Now, obviously, I'm expecting it to either come out in the fall or holiday season. I think it's about time. Uh, just want more updates on the story. I want to see more gameplay, and for us to maybe get a release uh, of, of a collector's edition. I don't know. I mean, I think that uh, Square Enix handled the release date of Final Fantasy XV, and all the little extras that they were doing with that game very well. So I'm not expecting that quality of information, but I just want an update to let us know that it is in fact coming out this year and we, we can expect to get it because a lot of us have really wanted to play this game for some time and I think it's about time we finally get our hands on it. So that's why it's number four on this list. Going on into number three, we go to EA Studios and I personally would like them to announce finally the next installment of the Dead Space franchise, that being Dead Space 4. Now look, it has been about three years since release of Dead Space 3, and I know that there's a lot of people out there who were kind of mixed on how Dead Space 3 ended up actually being. Now, I am personally one of the people that actually enjoyed it. I admit that it is by far the weakest of the main trilogy, but I would say that out of all the franchises that we got last generation, Dead Space is definitely one of the better franchises that emerged during that time frame. I have all three games, I have both the animated movies, I have all the novels. So this is a very, very treasured franchise of mine, and I would like to see it continue on this current gen systems. Everything has been updated. The visuals, I'm sure the gameplay will have some new additions. I would like an announcement. I doubt we'll have any gameplay, but just an announcement that the Dead Space franchise is continuing would certainly make me jump up and down with joy. And that's why it is number three on this list. Going on into number two is a game franchise which also has some connections with EA and Bioware. And that is, I would like an update on Mass Effect Andromeda. Now, they, they, they've been teasing this. We, we've seen plenty of, you know, concept art we i think we had like a cgi trailer maybe last year or the year before that it is now time for us to actually see some concrete gameplay what can we can expect how is this going to be different from the last three mass effect games you know what's the time frame i know that we're not going to be dealing with commander shepherd anymore but i think it's about time we get some concrete information of what we can expect from the next chapter in the mass effect franchise so i want to see some gameplay i want at least a general area of when we can expect a release like maybe the fall or the summer or you know the hot winter of 2017 which is when i'm expecting it to come out so just some general information on what mass effect Andromeda is going to be about and when we can expect to get it is what I would like to hear. And going on into number one. Now this obviously is I'm hoping will happen at Sony's press conference and I would finally hopefully like to get an update on exactly what is going to be the first official game from Kojima Productions. Now we already know that Hideo Kojima has been working on something. We don't know what but all we know is that he has said that if you like the Uncharted franchise then this is something that you'll hopefully enjoy. Now, I absolutely loved Uncharted 4. It was a phenomenal game. I'm sure that 
some people are expecting for Naughty Dog to announce The Last of Us 2. I personally am not very excited for The Last of Us 2. I didn't really enjoy The Last of Us 1 that much. But I am really excited to see what the first official game away from Metal Gear Solid that Hideo Kojima is going to be working on. I don't need gameplay. All I need is a concept and a name. I don't even need a release date. Just tell him what he's working on so I can jump up and down with joy and say finally he's on a new path away from Metal Gear and he can do something else. That is what I want to hear from Hideo Kojima Productions and if that happens then I'll be a very very happy gamer for the rest of that day. So with that out of the way those are just my list of things that I would like to see announced at E3. Tell me what do you hope gets announced at E3. Share your thoughts with me in the comments down below and if you like this video feel free to like, comment down below and please subscribe to check my future videos and like always thank you guys for watching you're awesome and I will see you next time.